Mar is an artist and a pop star. I'm a Cancer Sun and if you talk to me for longer than 15 minutes, you can see why. Um, I'm a Gemini Moon, Leo Rising, Venus and Leo, Mars and Gemini, um, Jupiter and Scorpio, Uranus and Capricorn, Neptune and Capricorn, Pluto and Scorpio, Saturn and Pisces. I reached out to my friends who are photographers and vice versa and then I just started shooting stuff and building my portfolio and then eventually people started noticing. Hi, so I guess we're shooting content for my rebranding. <laughs> um, a more serious working girl. And how do you want to look more serious? Well, I chopped off my hair, as all serious girls have short hair. I will no longer be wearing short skirts. I only wear long skirts or pants and fl no longer wear flash shoes. I'm already starting my diet. I have to go down one waist size and I'm fasting and eating healthier and I'm gonna have my hair color fade out from ginger to strawberry blonde um, because I want to oscillate only between blonde and ginger hair and I think a strawberry blonde will be softer and more bookable because although this color is great and I like it, I feel like it's a very aggressive look and part of my branding is being ethereal, just like the blonde. Well, I've noticed ever since I became this color, I get more stares on the subway and just in general, but not in the same fascination as when I had blonde hair. It's a more aggressive, kind of stare. I feel like people think that I'm bitchier now than I was before and I feel like your hair color is indicative of your heart and your psyche and so I'm revealing a part of myself that people are misunderstanding. How does being a series book relate to your modeling career? I want to book more work. And what kind of work do you want to be booking? Paid jobs, sponsored content, Editorial, runway, everything. Who are your favorite designers right now? My favorite designers, Craig Green, um, old Celine, not current. Um, I love what Alessandro is doing at Gucci. I like maximalism and I love minimalism. You know, I want to present myself thoughtfully and I like people who are, hmm, people who are who give a little effort. Now, what do you think about trans representation in the modeling industry? Is it becoming more inclusive or is there a problematic approach to this inclusion? I think it's becoming more inclusive. I do see a lot of times models being exploited to sell a product or to show that the brands care about diversity, but not really. But I think for the most part, people are starting to recognize that there is a market to be exploited. 
And how have you been treated on set and while doing runway? Um, for the most part, pretty normal. But I do get misgendered a lot. And when people misgender you, there is a set of um, behaviors and reactions that follow it. Like, if people think that you're a man and then they treat you compared to other male models, or um, if they think that you're not enough of a woman, then they treat you different compared to cis women on set. I'll be just like Beyonce. I'm going to be the most notarized and publicized person, but you don't know any detail of my life. You don't know who I really am. You just know my work. Why do you want your, I guess, personal life to be anonymous? Um, I'm a very private person, and I think that self-preservation is very important, especially when you're in the public eye. If you are too invulnerable, then you lose yourself and you lose your integrity and you're not able to produce content that is meaningful and passionate. For trans models to be treated like any other model, to be normalized and to not have to feel like you're an other and to be put in clothes that don't make you feel like your body is being highlighted in the wrong way.